Hello everyone. Welcome to Sweetie Speaks official YouTube channel. Today's topic is cues. Let's first see the key feature. The first thing in cues is that size is dynamic. It means that size is not fixed. It can vary as you add and delete elements. When you add elements, the size will increase. When you delete elements, the size will decrease. Second thing is that Q is a collection of homogeneous elements. Homogeneous means similar kind. So if I have a Q of int, all elements will be of type int. If I have a Q of type bit, all elements will be of type bit only. In simple words, you can think of queues as one dimensional unpacked array. In case you missed the video lecture for unpacked array, I'll share the link in description. You can go through it and then you can understand queues like it is a one dimensional array. But the difference is that in case of unpacked array, the size was fixed. But in case of queues, the size is dynamic, which means it can grow and shrink automatically as you add and delete elements. This is the major difference. Syntax is similar as unpacked array. Only difference is in size, since it is dynamic, the size is not fixed. You specify the size dollar. Here is an example of Q. I call it unbounded because size is not fixed. Uh, it is of type int, which means all elements in the Q will be of type int. The name is Q and dollar is because size is not fixed. Now you can also have bond bounded Q, which means the size is fixed. How can you fix the size of Q? By limiting the size by specifying the right bound and this right bound is optional if you don't specify the right bound then the queue will be unbounded here is how you can declare and bounded queue here the queue is of data type int which means all elements are of type int but the maximum size of queue is 8 after 8, it can't take more elements. It can't add more elements after 8. But in case of unbounded queue, even after 8 elements, if you add 9th element, 10th element, 11th, it can go on and on because the size is not fixed. This is the difference between bounded and unbounded. Bounded means size is fixed. Unbounded, size is not fixed. What are advantages of queue? The... Most important advantage is it has a lot of inbuilt methods for element sorting, searching, insertion, deletion. Let's see this methods now. All these are functions. This is the type data type which it returns. Every function returns a data type. This first thing is the data type which it returns and here is the name of the function. So first function is size which returns the number of items in queues. Second function is insert which inserts the item. Here it takes two arguments. First is index where you want to insert and second is whatever is the data type of the queue. That data type you have to specify the uh, element. So you have to tell at which index you are going to insert and what is the item or element which you are going to insert. The next function is delete. It deletes the item at specified index. It takes the argument index and say for example I give index 0. So it will delete the element at 0th index. The next function is pop front. It removes the first element. Since it's front, it removes the first element and returns its value. So the data type will be whatever is the data type of the queue. Similarly, we have pop back. It removes the last element of the queue since it's back. Then we have push front. 
push means it inserts the given element in front of the queue and push back means it inserts the element at the end of queue in the next lecture we are going to see a coding example of queue where you will see how you can declare the queue how you can use the array methods and a lot more so stay tuned for the upcoming videos and to stay tuned you can subscribe to sweetie speaks official youtube channel thank you